Hi everybody, it's Red from Out of Red's Head. I hope you are well and happy today. I've got a journal I'm gonna flip through real quickly for you. Um, we're gonna do it really fast because this is a big journal. It's over 150 pages. Um, it is a nice, big, chunky journal. It is made um, out of cotton. It is padded, and it, but it's a hard cover. I've made a kind of a shabby edge um, with lots of stitches around it and just left the edges kind of like you would a rag quilt. So you see, you'll get little frays and things here. Um, and it is a homespun cotton, which I thought was appropriate because this journal is based on Old MacDonald's Farm and a vintage little Golden's book. And it is um, just full of farming and homesteading and animals and all of that kind of stuff. So if you love animals and all, this is for you. It would be great for a new mom, um, a grandparent, a child, um, someone who's young at heart, who loves farms or homesteading or so many things. It's I think there's a lot in this that would appeal to a lot of people. It closes with this tie. Um, the tie is just made out of cotton, a long strip of cotton that I've pieced together and I just folded it over. Um, and sewed it, you know, inside out, turned it right side out and stitched down the middle to keep it flat and kind of give it some interest. So it's just real basic tie. You could leave it on or off. It's not going to pop open without it, but it is thick. Um, and I've made the cover a little oversized so that you could, you know, add lots of stuff and let it hang out. Um, this stuff in the back is extra ephemera for you. So inside... Um, let's get this going here. Can you see it? I think you can see it. It is very chunky and full. There are three signatures in here. I have tabbed all of the book pages. The inside is also padded hardcover. So you could pin something in here if you wanted to pin through the fabric or you could glue it or you could leave it plain. Lots of fun coloring in here. Lots of vintage papers, fabrics, trims, I've stitched on my sewing machine. You've got a double double pocket here, cute little ruffle. Um, this is from a vintage children's book. You've got lots and lots of stuff and I'm not gonna pull everything out of the pockets because it would just take forever. Um, but some of the pockets have things, some of them don't. I've tried to do some three dimensional things here. You've got a pocket there. You have a long pocket here. There's a pocket here, three-dimensional with a tuck. Do a tuck there. Got more book pages, more places to write. Lots of vintage children's book pages and ephemera from my collection. Some hand-dyed paper that I've done. Lots of different things. I gave you a couple of pages here. This flips down and up. To get lots of lots of interest with different textures and um, movement in the book. This is just to glue on top of or look at or write on top of whatever you'd like to do. Um, I tried to keep it, you know, busy and inspirational and fun. Keep you thinking about things to do. You've got a tuck here. Isn't that sweet? That's an antique photo for my collection. I love that mom helping her little girl get the eggs. We've got a tuck here, and this is washied in, so you could remove that if you wanted or move it around, however you'd like to do that. Long pocket here underneath it. Got another tuck here, and book page again. This is a tuck with a removable page. And we've got a pocket here. All of these things could, you could put a, your own picture here if you didn't want it to be a piggy. It could be, um, you know, a picture of something that you want it to be. We've got a series of pages here. This is an old railroad um, time card that I turned into a pocket there. And you've got a flip out. Get my hands around it. I'm sorry, I'm standing way over this, so um, a little awkward, but. You get the idea. Some embossed pages, another long pocket here, place to glue. Um, this is a photo frame underneath wax paper to protect your photo. Got a tuck here, lots of cute vintage images and 
um, asparagus paper. <laughs> Tried to add all different kinds of things, animals and produce. This flips down. You've got a tuck behind it. Tried to hide some little pockets here and there and tuck spots so that you could have places that weren't so obvious if you wanted to put something special and secret. We've got a, um, I stitched that together with some vintage fabrics and just some paper there. Added some labels here and there so you could label things. This can come out, it's washy. It's another, there's a bingo card and some paper. I've added spare papers in here so you could decide how you wanted to use them. You've got a pocket here. This pocket disappears once you take that out of the pocket. You've got a little flower and vintage fabrics. You've got, this lifts up. You can use that for a pocket or a photo. You've got a three-dimensional pocket again here. Sweet antique photo I had. This is washied in, but it's an actual receipt from a book. She can write on. Got a decorated or a uh, little heart paper clip there. Little embellishments, fabric collage I did for you. Just flips up. You got another pocket here. Of course, more dyed paper I've done. This is from a vintage uh, book. And then you've got a little journaling card with the strawberries on it. A sweet vintage strawberry button I had when I was a little girl. Another um, collage page, more writing papers. You got a pocket, a uh, tuck spot here, and a pocket out of the tomato seed packet. You got a little booklet I made here for you. Some different papers and a scan of a 1800s farmer's almanac. This is a cute page. I'm gonna just kind of show a little bit here. So I added a paper in front of it. These points flip out so you can write inside of them and I've tucked another extra page inside. You've got more story, writing book, another tuck from a flashcard and there's an antique book page um, from a math book. You've got another flip out here and uh, more paper and then pocket here, a little tuck here, this little sheep, and this comes that, or you can take it out, it's just a brad, and then you've got this bag here for a pocket, and I added a little bit of dimension to that, and then you've got this coloring page, vintage coloring page, it does come out, cute little tuck here with a ticket in this little button pocket, and finishing up the story and then you have got a bunch of pages I've added of ephemera um, postcard a receipt from the from 1901 you've got different it's a scan by the way um, lots of scans of things that I had in my collections and a couple of actual book pages and a booklet from a farm set that I thought was really cute well, I can't get it open. Actually, it's the cover. I forgot. It's the cover, the sleeve for it. And it has all this cute little farm stuff. So anyway, lots of different things in here. Lots of ephemera. Lots to do. I hope you like it. I hope that you'll um, follow me and see what else we've got coming out. We're going to have lots of stuff going on. And thank you so much for your moments today. Stay well. Stay happy. See you soon. Bye.